really laughing. Why are you laughing? How are you? Are you happy? Are you happy to for what? I don't know, maybe the kids. The kids? Yeah. And the camera as well. Yeah, yeah. You love the camera. This fire is for what? Oh, this is gonna be a bride. Oh, so beautiful. Eh? <laughs> so I'm asking this little guy, what is this? This is called Leger. What is it for? This is to 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 bust the head. What's up guys? What's up? What's up? This is your guy Imani Nigaze right here to show you the Africa you don't normally see on TV. I'm in the bush right here but yeah there is electricity as you guys can see over there. But where am I exactly in the bush? I'm in South Africa. Yes I'm in South Africa. I told you in my previous video and this place where I am you guys this is nowhere else but Shangoni Avenda <laughs> hey man I'm in Limpopo right now and in Venda you know I got some kind of feel when I'm in Venda I feel really at home is the reason why I really all the time come to Venda and uh, there is one thing I want to show you I just want to show you the real life of vendor people and the reason why vendor people don't really mind staying in their village man look at this this is so amazing lay beautiful from my right this is a beautiful tree of um some fruits called leeches and look at this and uh vitamin base that's how you greet in Venda, it's Venda language. Right here in South Africa, man. We're gonna walk to this home right here where I came to visit. But basically, I said this is these are leeches. This is also leeches. Those who know South Africa will really know this. I don't know, wherever you are, do you have this kind of fruits? I wish they were available right now so I can show you, but unfortunately, it's not the season. And this tree right here is avocado. Oh my goodness, man. You know, just look at the feel, man. How this place feels. Really, really is refreshing. And you will not need to have a home other than this. If you were to be here. Before I get you to that side at the main house, I want to show you this side. It's amazing. Some beautiful contrast here look at how beautiful it is it's just so amazing this is another avocado and so many of mangoes also as well I think we're gonna get mangoes on the other side but I wanted you to see how beautiful this place is we are actually in Venda in the Limpopo region and it's also Limpopo province here at the very last last of the towns to go to Zimbabwe as you're facing Africa the other side look at this man so amazingly beautiful look at that this is a very refreshing beautiful house and here are the residents the Masiari <laughs> Thank you, my Gugu. Thank you, Gogo. And now we're gonna see the outside. I just don't wanna invade so much of privacy, but I wanna show you how beautiful it is. Hello, there is my favorite. She's already laughing. Why are you laughing? How are you? Are you happy? You happy to for what? I don't know, maybe sing the kids. The kids? 
Ah, uh, and the camera as well. Yeah, yeah. You love the camera. This fire is for what? Uh, I have the one to do a bride. Oh, there's gonna be a bride. Oh, so beautiful. And we got some bananas here. Where did these bananas come from? I don't know. I think on this side. This side? Just around the, the yard. Amazing. Man, I'm gonna have some meat right here. Not so long from now. And then we've got some beautiful bananas. What is this? Is the kitchen? The kind yeah. of like outside kitchen. Yeah. yeah, nah, yeah. I know South Africans will know this. You got this piece kitchen, yeah, now with it. Those big pots, those pots for my guru. And then there's uh, the other side where I'm coming from. This pot just cooked some nice pot. Uh, you can see, I think I was a little bit late. Something was, uh, the dog is scared of me and just left. This is another avocado. And look at the banana trees. Man. Whew. Gugu, I'm late for the avocados. Maguru Abana. Am I late for the avocados? I'm early. When did they, you guys harvest them? Ah, April. Yo. So, no tavanya, it means I'm too early <laughs> for the avocados. Otherwise, this whole yard gets full of avocados. Hey, there is one there. Look at that. <laughs> They're still too small. Yeah, so bad. You guys, those who have seen my house, you see a lot of flowers. I got them all from here. Let me not forget to show you that forest there, you guys. Let me see where I can actually show it for you properly. Mm. Look at the avocados. They actually ripe and fail. <laughs> Nobody picked them. Stuff like that. That's what's happening here in this village. Look at that. It's just a forest. I also got my mint here. I have plenty of them in my at my house in uh, Pretoria. And yeah, guys, that is the forest. And there is something. The reason why I wanted to show you that thing is because I have a story. Because people normally say if you go into that forest, you don't come back. I actually want to find out. There's a time where I wanted to go there, and somebody told me, "No, don't, 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 don't." They just really refuse me to go there. At least I got late or early for the uh, avocados, but at least I'll get some oranges. This orange tree is kind of like old, but yeah, still producing. It's amazing, you guys. I'm in the Venda village right here. And who would believe that this is South Africa, man? Ooh, so beautiful. Look at the orange. It's just it just fallen. Nobody really cares. This is millions. So it's not the only house. There's plenty of house. There's a house down here, and there's another house over there. So it's a whole neighborhood of villages. Um, we we'll love to believe villages here know each other very very well so if anything new is around everybody will get to know it just through the, the orange too <laughs> just like anybody else look at the bananas and they are the avocados but we're still too early for these avocados they're not really they've not matured and look at this as well there's um guayavas for those who have watched some of my crazy videos when I just started this channel, they've seen where I <laughs> kind of like shot a video with guava. Let me see if I can have something at least to eat. I'm talking to you guys. I really need to wash it. <laughs> Maybe now. So nice. Mm. Look, they're just ripe ripening over there and they falling nobody's picking guys where you are tell me how much of all this you have there is tap water all around here 
one of the things that I really think South Africans are so lucky to have a government that really care yes I don't want to say this badly because I don't want you guys to misunderstand me because there are some people who are not happy with the South African government but from my perspective the guy who comes from the DRC and looking at all those videos that I showed you in DRC man there is nobody who can think who can guess and try to think that there could be electricity in this kind of village in the DRC but here it is there is electricity there is tap water but also they are well waters South Africans made it really a priority to have a well water at the yard even though you have tap water you will have some sort of tank like this in case the tap dr uh, runs dry this will take over and most of the times um, in villages like this you have a communal kind of water where everybody goes and get water but when you have something like this and you have electricity then you get just a water pump you just install then you get your water in your compound without a problem that an avocado tree how big have you seen an avocado tree maybe this could be the biggest you've seen let me know in the comment section oh man i could be talking all day praising this village but let's see i'm just curious of what is happening here it looks like some <laughs> crazy but should we just go guys <laughs> i don't know maybe we'll be trespassing maybe not but let's see what's happening there let's just look look some kind of pumpkins then oh it's on somebody's yard <laughs> and there's just a house nearby there i don't know if you guys got to see it but i did see it anyways we're coming back to the yard i'm still enjoying my guava hmm. man and uh butterman Add. What's your name? What's your name? It's Justin Da. We don't know English, ne? Ain't mean. Leger. Leger. What does that mean? Urato. Huh? Urato. Urato. <laughs> so I'm asking this little guy, what is this? It says it's called legger. What is it for? This is to 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 bust the head. No? <laughs> Hello? Tedan Tedan babe Hey 